Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Microsoft Edge to use with the uh, OWA and how to install it as an app and all that kind of stuff. So first thing, let's uh, make sure on Microsoft Edge that you have the latest, greatest version of it. So just get Edge, go to About, and make sure you, your Edge is up to date. This is the latest version that I'm using here, 88.0.705.56. So make sure you have that version. So then let's go to OWA. So OWA.us.af.mil. So go ahead and log in. I'll need to highlight that, take that out. It'll pop up and ask for your CAC. And if you're, if you're not sure which cert, if it's using your authentic, authentication cert or not, just click cancel here and it'll pop up for your certs. Make sure that the cert you're choosing, you can click on the cert and click don't choose email. Click certificate information and you want the cert that has the four bullets. The important one is this one, provide your identity to a remote computer. You want to select that cert, click OK, and it'll prompt you for your PIN. And then now you're in your email. So here's the second stage you need to do here. Once you have this, you need to install an extension for Microsoft S-MIME. And you'd go to, and I'll copy this link and put it in uh, a link in the video, but you want to go to the Microsoft Store and you want to install this extension. And then once you install the extension, you can restart Edge. And you want to go to Details. You want to go to Extension Options and you want to add owa.us.af.mil as domains you trust. You don't have to do this one anymore, that one's gone away, but make sure that one's in there and click save so that you have the SMIME extension. This will enable you to view uh, encrypted emails and digital signatures on, on emails. Okay, and then once you've got your email here, a neat little thing you can do with Edge is you can go click three dots Go to apps and go install Outlook as an app. We'll install this as an app. We'll open it in Windows. And so now you've got this thing here as an app. What you can do is you can click on your start. All right, so you, want to, you can click on start. And you can see here recently added Outlook. That's your shortcut. You can pin it to your start. You can also pin it to your taskbar, or you can just drag it to your desktop. Drag a shortcut to your desktop like that. And then it's on your desktop as a shortcut. That's basically what you need to do. Okay, let's say you want to rename your your shortcut here, you could just double click on it like that and go to OWA so that now that you know it's your Outlook app, the other thing you can do is you click on the start, you can go to it here, you can right click on it and go to more and you go open file location and then right here you can change it here, OWA. And then that way, whenever you open it back up over here and start, it says OWA as well.